One more lesson on anchor points and links. Now I've already showed you how to create a link to another page within your site as well as link to a specific section of your site and we used anchor points for that. I mean what I mean is a spe specific part of your page. So if you had a long page remember we could link down to a specific portion of it. But now I'm going to teach you how to combine those two features. Both linking to another page on your site but a specific part of that page. So let's open up our test for class. <clears throat> All right, so there's one of the anchor points we created for maybe, and then down here we made another one for Clown in the Moon, and remember we would just click here or here and it would just jump to that section of the document. Now, <clears throat> down here, information, remember we created a page, do you remember that, called information? Um, it was an HTML page with just a phone number on it basically and we click this and we we're able to link to it another page on our site but now we're going to combine those two linking to an, a page but then a specific portion of it so first of all let's go to our information page and it's in here in our site files information page all right <clears throat> now i'm going to go to the bottom of the page because i want to be i want it to be perceptible that it's linking to a different part of the document if i make it too close to the top you might not notice it so dramatically so <clears throat> i'm going to say information for business partners Now, let's bring up our tool panels or toolboxes or palettes, whatever you want to call them. Now, <clears throat> something I wanted to show you. Here, if we return through down the page, we're going to end up keeping the same style here as is up here. But because I clicked down here, instead of returning through we have a style of none now what's kinda nice about this style tool is it keeps track of the styles we've created and we can simply choose one so like this one kept the font everything that we created for that style and we were able to change it now like I said when you hit return it's gonna keep the same style so if we want to change it we can either we could either continue to type, let's say we put our number in, 444 or whatever, just making up a number. Oops, left out a digit. All right. <clears throat> so we can still highlight this section and then change the style that way also. So we could go to none or we could go to style two, which I think looks pretty professional. And I might even make that bold, like so. That looks pretty professional. I like that. All right. <clears throat> now, that's the specific part of the page we're going to link to. Let's go back over. We've kept both of them open, so let's just window over to test for class. Now let's create a separate link to go to that section of the page, that other page. And I'm going to put it on a separate line entirely. And I'm going to actually pretty much keep the same styles as we had before. So let's put information for, uh, see, the, the style must have changed at this point. Yes, like so. All right, so what I'm going to do, back up and here, I'm going to hit space, then return. Uh, it still kept the same style. All right, so we'll have to change it manually. That's no problem. All right. <clears throat> Information 
for business partners. All right. And at this point, here is where I'm going to change the, the color to a blue, like so. It's a little different blue, but I don't mind. Now, <clears throat> here is where we're going to link to the other page. Now, do you remember how we, what code we used? to link to an anchor point. Remember it was pound and then the name of that anchor point? Well we haven't put an anchor point over there yet but the difference with linking to a different page on the site and then to an anchor point is you have to tell it what is the name of that page. So what we're going to do is instead of typing it in we're going to have to point to the location and we had to do this before also. So you remember this little button point to file? So rather than typing it in, it'll put the whole extension of how to get there. So I'm going to point, or I'm going to click and drag to that document, which is over here in our files panel under my site. These are the files number it's referencing, both the pictures as well as our information page. So once you're over that particular page that we're going to link to, release, and now it puts the whole thing in here. See? my website work information dot space page space htm now once it's pointed to that that file location now we put in our pound and then the name of that anchor point so I'm gonna put partners as the name of the anchor point because that's what I'm going to name it so once we have all that in there, the pound, so remember the we're going to drag over, point to the the file in our local files under um, the files panel, which is the site we created where all our data and pictures are referencing to. And then we go click to the end of it, and then we add on pound and then whatever we're going to name that anchor point or if it's already named we'll put that name in. In this case we haven't named it yet. So once we have all that we're going to hit tab and then it takes and now it's underlining it just like it does all links. Now we can go over back over to our information page and add our anchor point and I'm going to put it at the end of partners. So insert named anchor and what are we going to call it? Partners. I'm going to hit OK. And there's our anchor point. And you notice how in the properties tab, whenever you're highlighting an anchor point, it gives you the properties of it, which is the style as well as the name. So partners, that's correct. Let's save our changes on this. Actually, I'm just going to close and save. And now here I'm going to do the same thing, save but not close. And then I'm going to File, Preview in Browser, F12. There we are. There's our new link, Information for Business Partners. And when I click on it, <clears throat> bam! It takes us right to Information for Partners. So, I'm going to close out of that. So there is the combining of the two features, both linking to a page, but also a specific anchor point on that page. So if you remember, it's basically the same as linking to an anchor point on the same page, except you have to show it where that file is, and then put pound and the anchor point after in the link section. So do some experimenting with that, and it'll be very useful. Um, it's a common used item on many websites. Enjoy.